everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an anthology analysis. I saw this on Kate Cavanaugh's channel and um, I, my brain was in the mindset of like, hey, I want to try for some anthologies or hey, I want to work on some short stories or novellas. And so I've been researching how um, the structure is and I thought it was really cool when she did her uh, analysis on anthologies because I hadn't quite considered if there's an order why that might be versus if it's alphabetical and she was saying that she kind of saw that it kicks off really well there's kind of maybe some mediocre ones the midpoint hooks you back in and you know then you end on a high note and so i was like okay i'm gonna go through this one and see what it's like um i have a second one that's coming out in february because i couldn't finish two books in time for this video but also, Merry Christmas Eve. I hope y'all have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow or whenever you're watching this. I hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas or holidays or whatever you celebrate. I thought this would be a fun one to post on Christmas Eve because it's a Christmas anthology and hopefully y'all are like me and we've been binging uh, Christmas books and movies. Well, I might have gotten rid of the picture I was gonna show y'all <laughs> for what I was reading, but it's uh, Christmas actually. And the one I'll be reading for uh, February's video is Tis the season for love. Christmas actually had 11 books in it. And I also forgot that typically books have, like anthologies have a theme. And I just remembered that because someone sent me one to like submit to and it was like must have cookies in the title or must have cookies in the book. And so um, after I read that, I was like, oh snap. But yeah, like Christmas actually had a lot of dogs in it. I don't know if that was intentional. And a lot of the writers, um, either they're from Texas or their story happened to be in Texas, which is where I'm from. So I was like, that's really cool to read about. And so I was like, shoot, I could have submitted to this one maybe, but um, I don't know how that works. So I know anthologies, some people just get together as friends and just put out a book. So um, not sure what happened. I didn't dig deep on these, but um, for the first two books of this, I was so not into them. And I was like, holy cow, like, I, why am I wasting my time reading these? Um, I thought you would start out with a bang, like what Kate Cavanaugh saw. And so I was kind of like really bummed. Um, there was also some edits that needed a bit more, like if they had just had one more proofreader maybe go through it. But I was trying to see about the structure because I had just finished reading. I don't know if it would be technically called a novella or a short story, um, but I read... The Most Wonderful Time of the Year by Marie Landry and it was a very short and sweet book where there wasn't like a down moment before the third act and honestly I'm okay with that. I like just like let's just be together. <laughs> um, and so it was I was very curious after reading that I was like oh the story structure as we know it now not matter but she wrote that back in 2013. Um, I want to read her A Very Perry Christmas and I'm sure that one's gonna have more structure uh, with the third act and you know the deepest darkest moment and all that jazz but um, so all of these books had that there was always a turning point though some of them I didn't want what they did but it's fine. So anyways the first two books I gave two stars and then the next two books I gave four the fifth one I gave three, the sixth one I gave four, and then three, four, 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 four. So it picked up for me after the first two books. This could just totally be my opinion, um, but I really wish they had started something stronger. I love what they ended with, and um, so it's called Christmas Actually, and they ended with a, basically, um, I don't know, a tribute to Love Actually, which is I'm sure what the book title is after so um they basically she meets a prince in an airport and they discuss love actually as it's playing at the airport and um discuss all the different timelines the storylines and the characters and whose was better and who they feel for and like all this stuff and so that was actually really fun to read what i saw from this analysis and it varied there was like some had four chapters one had 19 chapters but what I saw a lot was dual POV, uh, which I was not expecting, but I guess that's good because you get it from the guy's perspective faster. So um, it's not, you don't have to build up with like, oh, I wonder why, or you know, what he's thinking. And it's like, no, bam, this is, <laughs> this is what he's thinking. Um, and so I saw that, and then about 10 chapters was the um, average. And uh, with that, if you think of 10 chapters, and my brain thinks in four parts, so act one, act two, two part one, act two, part two, act three, four parts, 
basically had two chapters each. So in my brain, that's what I'm gonna attempt if I ever try this, because that's really <laughs> great mathematically to think about. Dual POV. Some of them had where like the, it was the same chapter, but it did the scene break into the next POV, um, which was fine. I liked it when it was by chapter, because it just flew by faster, which was nice. <laughs> um, a lot of Texas books. Somehow everyone's grandma was called Grandma. <laughs> like, I don't, maybe that's a Texas thing. I don't know. Uh, it's not where, where I'm at, but uh, one of them, I was like already like, dang it. Cause okay. I read book two that I was like, whatever on book three started with the same main character name. And I was like, did they not see this? <laughs> like, I wish that had been ordered differently, you know? Cause I was just like, wait a minute, but I um, actually ended up liking the third one. A lot of people had a shared past or history. I think there was only one that didn't know each other um, with a past. And so some of them, like the second one, had a lot of backstory put in there. They, they like started out when they were fifth graders, I think, or five year, fifth graders. And um, did kind of like a prologue almost um, and then kicked it to like the time period now um, and but a lot of people had backstories which I totally get uh, so you got to see like why they might have broken up and you know if you think that reason was valid or not <laughs> and then them getting back together and if anything was like keeping them apart again or whatever some of them I was just like they could have done something different and they went a different route and I was just like dang it um, and then heat levels so um, one of them was a uh, pen pal so they didn't necessarily know each other back then they've just gotten to know each other over the course of a few years and their book ends with just a kiss on the cheek some of them did kiss on the mouth some of them might not have kissed at all some of them had like magic put in like the spirit of christmas or ghost or um mrs claus or like something like that one of like some of them it's really hard reading of a short story because some of them felt very choppy um in that they're just like Oh, these issues. Oh, but we're together. And you're like, where, where was that? Where was, <laughs> oh, I missed that whole little bit. And like I said, lots of dogs. This one had lots of dogs in it. Oh, and then some of these stories spanned like five, maybe four weeks where they kind of just skipped ahead to weekends. And then one of them was just one night. I think a couple of them. One of them, yeah, it was like a week or less, a weekend or less, one night or like the whole month of December but like just the weekends kind of leading up to somewhere like Christmas Eve exactly somewhere at festivals somewhere at airports number 10 I wrote that I would have been happy um, if it ended before the breakup makeup scene because it was just like perfect like it was just it was perfect and their their breakup makeup was just dumb yeah and it was one of those dumb reasons my note to myself was like I don't understand people who forget their phones this guy went to meet of what, like for work and he left his phone behind like you're not gonna do that when you go out for like a job to like like no <laughs> and so they couldn't she couldn't get a hold of him and like blah 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 I just didn't like that <laughs> they could have just ended up before that um but yeah those like those dumb misunderstandings you know what I mean it was a lot a lot of small towns lots of small towns um where people were coming back after having left a lot of like the the love interest was usually the one coming back after they had left because they realized that's where they want to be and they want to be with their girl and like it stinks because that's like immediately what you think of when you want to write a novella short story anthology um especially at christmas time you're like small town christmas like <laughs> that's exactly where my brain goes and it's like there's a thousand of those um but i guess that's what everyone is drawn to and what we like reading because i love that like a gilmore girls feel of small town festivities everyone knows each other everyone's gonna know when like the you know bad sheep comes back or whatever and everyone's gonna be invested on if those characters get back together because they saw them grow up and fall in love and you know break apart and so everyone's invested but um and that's kind of where the short stories or like the serials that I want to write um, have three main characters and it's <laughs> I was even thinking I was like that town has basically all eligible 20 somethings living in it <laughs> and that's like probably not realistic but <laughs> um, I was like yeah whatever I was trying to think if Gilmore Girls had that many eligibles I think they did um, and as long as you know they're the only ones and then there's old people and young people that's fine <laughs> but yeah I hope this analysis kind of helped y'all if y'all 
have any questions, please ask them down below. I wasn't entirely sure what to give here besides like structure and um, common threads that I found throughout. And be on the lookout for Tis the Season for Love anthology analysis in February because I'm going to break it down and then do a comparison to this one. And so um, I think I really wanted you know two to compare because when you just read one maybe you think like oh that's how it is but I want to do two to make sure that's how that is or if this one did it completely different let me know if y'all have also read any anthologies I feel like I've read some before um, that were like romance or like had four authors maybe versus like these 11 10 stories and um, I don't think I've read any that were indie published before. So let me know y'all's history down below. And if y'all like anthologies, I decided that I do not <laughs> because they're really long and there's a lot of stories in them. And I'd rather read a short story or novella and just be done with it. But um, again, yeah, just comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and I will see y'all in the next video. Merry Christmas. Bye.